It's Free Willy. He's got family out there. I heard him. We gotta hurry. He's not doing so good. Don't let that whale get away. Whoa. Yeah! Co producer Jenny Lou Tujin also recognized Keiko's intelligence and became concerned for his well being. I think that everyone on the crew and certainly the cast came to have their own special relationship with Keiko. That's when our commitment really began because we knew his plight and we knew that Keiko had to have a new home. Keiko was living the real life free willy. People, of course, would say, Well, what are you doing? Why don't you free this whale? And it was like. People, I think, thought we could take the whale, airlift it, drop it into the water, and that would be that. But we couldn't. Keiko would have died. When the filming ended, no one felt that Keiko should be abandoned in Mexico City. With complete cooperation from Reno Aventura, the producers contacted Dave Phillips, an experienced whale protection activist, to help devise a rescue plan. And so we began working with Warner Brothers. And really, this had never been done before. There had never been a tie-in between a major Hollywood film and a conservation organization working to save wildlife. And so none of us really knew what to expect. We put the number 1-800-4-WHALES at the end of Free Willy, and all of a sudden the switchboards started to light up. Over the course of the next several months, we got 300,000 phone calls. People called from all over the world wanting to get involved with efforts to save the world's whales. And a lot of them were calling because they had heard about the plight of Keiko. After two long years of intense negotiations, Dave Phillips finally announces a deal. Reno Aventura has agreed to donate Keiko to the newly formed Free Willy Foundation. But I do think that uh, we have a carefully outlined plan with top scientists in the world working on it and excellent cooperation and I think that this is the beginning of a, a very uh, happy ending. For all the people, the skeptics who said it's too expensive, it's too logistically difficult, too many permits, too many governments, too many conflicting veterinary opinions, the kids were always there saying you've got to make this happen, we won't accept no. All these kids from around the world started becoming the force behind the plan for doing the right thing for Keiko. They put the pressure on Warner Brothers. They put the pressure on Reno Aventura to do the right thing. For five years, trainers Carla Corral and Renata Fernandez have cared for Keiko day and night and are his closest companions. He's very kind, he's, he's very noble, intelligent also, and, um, he, and I would describe him like a, like a little kid. He's the most beautiful animal in the whole world, and I think he's, a, he's my best friend, he's everything to me. But he's really gentle, and he really cares for us. He is really capable of love, but we feel it every day, and there's something that words cannot explain. I think he really trusts us a lot, and he understands, and he kind of talks to me in his way, you know? I think he's even smarter than we are. As the Free Willy Foundation begins to examine Keiko's living conditions, they find that while he enjoys excellent care from his trainers, there should be great concern for his physical health. Blood tests reveal a weakened immune system. The size of Keiko's pool is too small. And his dorsal fin is atrophied due to lack of exercise. Keiko has a pronounced skin rash caused by a papilloma virus. The condition is aggravated by the chlorinated artificial salt water that is far too warm. He must be moved as soon as possible. But because his virus may be contagious, he cannot be transferred to a park with other orcas. With no facility available, the Foundation searches for a coastal site where it will build the world's first whale and dolphin rescue center with Keiko as its first tenant. A location is found at the Oregon Coast Aquarium near the town of Newport. Here, emphasis is on the rehabilitation of wildlife 
rather than performance or entertainment. But never has there been a patient the size of Keiko. Seven million dollars are donated by the Macaw Foundation and Warner Brothers. And construction of a new facility begins immediately. Director of the Aquarium, Phyllis Bell. It's been a really short construction schedule, only about 11 months. Uh, you really need about 18 to 24 months for a project of this size, but the contractor agreed to do it on a fast-track basis. We did a design-build process, which means the design was going just right ahead of the construction. With construction underway in Oregon, Dave Phillips returns to Mexico City to organize a team of trainers and veterinarians who will engineer Keiko's relocation. If we can do some uh, exercise behaviors to get his uh, muscles to be not so stiff, and then... Uh, Dr. Lanny Cornell is a marine mammal veterinarian with extensive experience in the transport of captive orcas. He has chosen to direct the complex operation of Keiko's move. You guys can give him lots of love and attention, and he'll be a happy boy. Okay. Because of the close bond Carla and Renata have developed with Keiko, it is crucial for them also to accompany him to Oregon. After weeks of regular medical examinations, Dr. Cornell reports back from Mexico that Keiko's health appears even more at risk. We're two weeks away from when we're supposed to be moving Keiko, and the veterinarians are extremely concerned with the blood work coming in. Uh, we think we have to get Keiko out of there for his health, and that uh, if the blood work comes up any worse than it is now, it could mean that Keiko's life is in danger. Phillips and Cornell realize that Keiko's deteriorating health has reached a critical stage. If they wait too long, he might never survive a move. Ten months have now passed, and Keiko's new home is rapidly nearing completion. This is the ozone tower. Um, that ozone will be used to treat the water. Inside is the machine that runs it. This is the freezer behind me. It's designed to store 120,000 pounds of frozen fish. The pool is done. Everything's ready to go. It's been operational um, all this week, but there's a lot of cosmetic things we'll still be cleaning up for the rest of this month. Uh, but we're ready for Keiko. His home is ready.